Right, this is a, a story I've written. And this happened to me the other day, but I finished it off yesterday. Anyway, I'll get to the point of it. I got up this morning and I went for a long walk to clear my head. And I just happened to look up into the sky. And what I seen disturbed me. It was an image of an unborn child and two dark wolves ripping apart this child. And first of all, I thought I was seeing things. So I kept on walking and I tried to forget about what I seen, to put it out of my mind. So I put my head down and I kept on walking for about a mile. And then I saw this dark, disturbing image again. And it stopped me right in my tracks. And I could not believe what I was seeing again for the second time. I knew right away it was a sign from God. But why show me the sign? So I continued walking about two miles. And for the third time, I seen this image again of two dark wolves ripping apart these precious children of God. And now I knew that this was a sign from God. These children were like baby lambs led to the slaughter. Pray for all God's people. Humanity wake up because God is on the way. Get down on our knees and pray. We all have to answer to the Almighty God and stop what we are doing right now. Only Jesus can set us free. Look into these precious children's eyes and they will steal your heart away. We don't seem to have any shame anymore. Without the help of God, we are destroyed. Only prayer is the answer. We think more about our dogs than we do about the precious children of the world. Even the birds don't sing as sweet anymore. Go out your door and you will really and really listen and you will know what I am talking about. This is really happening. The signs are there. They're all around us. Our freedom of speech has been took away from us. People don't want to hear it. They don't want to see it. They don't want to speak about it. We want to leave it in someone else, to someone else. We don't want to believe it and forget about it. We don't even want to vote about it. We are ignoring the signs of the Almighty God, but we cannot ignore our just punishments. We are all guilty in some small way, and we as humanity have the right to say no. Today is a special day. It is Divine Mercy Sunday, and God has promised us special graces that we all can receive today to receive Holy Communion and to receive confession and to pray for each other and to show mercy to one another, sister to sister and brother to brother all over the world. This is God's call. These are my words. But I, I say to you right now, I've came across a priest called Father Chris Ayler on the Chapel of Divine Mercy. And this man is changing my life every day. He's an inspiration to me. And as I says, the story I've written is my, uh, is my words. But this is the prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a poor sinner. Jesus, you promised Saint Faustina that the souls who has been to confession and the souls that receives communion will receive complete forgiveness for all sin and punishment. Please give me this grace. Amen. Go on to YouTube and Father Chris Ayler will change your life completely. Not me, Father Chris Ayler. God bless you.